from a family that, um, although they profess being Christians in the sense that they taught Christian ethics, um, my uh, parents didn't believe in God or Jesus, but they sent me to Sunday school and I, I believe that um, some of the things that um, I believe now came from that, that first sowing of those seeds, even though my parents weren't aware of it at the time. Those seeds have gradually been watered and um, I have now um, made a commitment to uh, Jesus Christ to serve him. Uh, he's, he's filled my life with a joy and his peace and his understanding of situations and life in general. Before, I had no understanding or real understanding, but like, like most people, I use my intellect to work things out and to understand things. Um, and um, nine times out of 10, that didn't work. And it only takes one action to um, take you into many other situations that can affect possibly your whole life. And for me, that was um, going into um, uh, bad relationships and um, after being in a relationship that wasn't healthy, uh, making a commitment to Jesus but then um, backsliding, which is just going backwards on what you've promised to do for God. And um, if what followed on from there was that my life had lots of heartaches and lots of problems. Um, but Jesus was always there and he was always picking up the pieces and trying to rebuild what I have broken or destroyed. The gospel to me, or at least the gospel message to me, is um, there is a saviour out there that died for your sins and um, he took those sins upon himself. He was crucified and he died and he rose and he's a living Christ. But I had to make one commitment and the Lord and makes it very clear and it's very simple just to ask Jesus to come into your life. He's there, he's waiting and it's very easy just to pray and ask Jesus um, into your life but it's, it's always, there is um, another side as well to that prayer and that in prayer uh, involves um, recognizing that we are all sinners, that nobody is perfect, and that um, once you come to that understanding, it's then that God can truly work upon your, your spirit. You can recognize who you really are because the barriers have been brought down and God can come into your life and turn your life around. I attend uh, the Clear Spring Church in Gloucester. This is um, a family orientated church. Uh, it's caring, it's loving and it's supportive uh, and, and it is a family and you walk through the doors and you will feel welcomed and people will talk to you and they'll offer prayer for you and they're concerned about um, your concerns uh, if you have if you have concerns then uh, this is this is a family that is concerned and wants to hear um, those those problems or issues that you might have in life we're not a church that doesn't want to hear problems but we're here to support each other um, as a family.